to have kids. Okay, it's another week. Um, I'm getting started a little bit later and later every morning. I'm finding the shorter days. Um, it's harder to get out of bed in the morning and I, I don't know, I'm just feeling a bit more tired. I think I feel like this always at the end of the season. There's actually um, only two more weeks of market. We've done 18, so there's this week and then next week is the final one right before Canadian Thanksgiving. Um, usually that's a really good market for me, so I, um, Try to get a lot of flowers there and a lot of stuff prepared so so i'm buckling down for the next two weeks um working hard trying to get as many of the flowers in there's no uh looks like no chance of frost in the forecast so very thankful for that so hopefully we, there will be lots of flowers um yeah and i even i went away on saturday i went with my family to toronto this is the first time i went with my um, siblings and parents but so much fun. It was uh, fun to go to a Blue Jays game, uh, walk around Toronto. Um, we went on the GO train. That was the first time for some of my family. So this was a really good weekend. I was, yeah, I probably should, should have been working here because there's a lot of work, but um, I am trying to just walk away from it every so often. I just think it's, uh, yeah, life's too short to work all the time. So I took a little half day, or a little bit more than a half day away on the weekend. Um, but now, now it's go time. A lot of harvesting to do this week and clean up and seeding and yeah. Okay. I would like to report that the cucumber beetles have left my field. Um, but like, yeah, there's just one right there. I still see them, but their population has either gone down or they're just not eating as much. Like, um, oh yeah, here's one, here's one right here. Uh, um, I actually, uh, I have a white order this week, so I actually can walk through and get some white dahlias without organza bags. So I am thrilled and I'm getting other colors too. I'm just so happy to finally be getting some dahlias. Uh, this has not been a great dahlia season for me, um, but next week is Thanksgiving. So I want as many dahlias as possible. So I'm happy the cucumber beetles have, uh, maybe they've just found something else to eat right now.
So it rained last night and um, I got nematodes in the mail from Natural Insect Control as a company here in Ontario. Nematodes are those really tiny microscopic worms that um, you put in the soil and they will attack certain pests and um, what I'm trying to get rid of is cutworm and I really want to get rid of the cutworm for next spring because this is the bed where I want to put Lysianthus next year and maybe some other early April um, plantings. So uh, one of the strategies is besides the other things I tried this year is nematodes and you can apply them in the fall um, before it gets too cold and then you can apply again in the spring. So I'm going to do this again in the spring um, but I just wanted to try and see what it was like and get some on this fall. So um, I'm doing everything not correctly. Um, my application rate is much lower than it's supposed to be um, for what I bought. And um, you're not supposed to do it when there's sunlight. You're supposed to do it on a cloudy day or um, at dusk. But um, it rained last night. You need the ground wet. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to put them on quick this morning. It took longer than I thought. So it's a little bit sunnier that now. Um, that it was earlier this morning um, and then you water them in so that they they move in the water channels I think so I'm just going to move the sprinklers around this morning and the dahlias needed a little bit more water anyways so the chickens are really attacking this bed they probably should um, uh, be moved off of it but I don't have time to move the fencing right now so they are really digging up holes and making a mess but yeah, if there's any cutworm left, hopefully the nematodes now will find them and we will have a, a wonderful April uh, spring planting here. I'm just so happy to be cutting Lysianthus. Um, it's been like, it was quite a warm September and even now it's October. Um, I'm not wearing a jacket. It's, it's not that cold out. I know that in the next week, the temperatures are going to be dropping down. So the cold does affect Lysianthus and a lot of wind, wind and rain. And we haven't had that this past month. So it's so fun to be able to be able to cut um, bucketfuls of it. I do need to go through and clean them up. Lysianthus, you have to deadhead out the um, old blooms on the bottom of the stem and then it's the top blooms that you're selling basically so 
yeah, these are actually for orders for next week and I'm just getting ahead on my prep for the Thanksgiving market because there's a lot of flowers to cut and prepare and little time. So trying to stay organized here as I wrap up this week so that next week um, goes super well. But yeah, I'm just super excited. How can you not? How can you not love Lysianthus? And what do you think of my new variety this year? This one just came out. It's Coco something or other. It's a single and the designers, um, they've been enjoying it, I think. They can reflex it to get a little bit of a bigger flower um, size. But yeah, a market was really good this week. Weather was great. Um, I had more dahlias than I have had all month. And um, so I put a special on them and they uh, flew, out of, uh, flew out of my booth quite quickly. It's really, yeah, it's nice to end the season strong. Um, so I'm very happy about that. Very happy that the nematodes or some of them are in the ground and hopefully they're working because that just means next year um, we can have more lysianthus. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get these in the barn. It might, it looks like it might rain or spit. It was a little bit, but I don't want them getting all wet. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next week as we prep for Thanksgiving. <laughs>